Today's video, we're going to be talking about getting a second DWI. So this assumes you've already received your first DWI and you were convicted. Now, uh, receiving a second DWI, there are a few key factors. One is the date of your prior DWI. If you were convicted outside of seven years from the date of this new charge, the consequences are far less severe and outside the scope of this video. If it's within the last seven years, that's what we're going to focus on. If it's within the last seven years, then you are in a heap of trouble potentially because you are exposed to mandatory jail time, a minimum of seven days, maximum of one year, assuming there's no other factors that may impact the uh, severity of your charge. What we try to do is to avoid all jail time, if at all possible, and we have avenues to do that which we can set our clients up for to make sure they stay out of jail as long as possible. Now, if you have a minor in the car, other issues, then you have bigger fish to fry, but we can still typically help those clients stay out of jail as well. So jail time is usually the biggest concern with a second DWI within seven years. Another issue is being able to drive if you are convicted. There is no limited driving privilege eligibility for a second DWI within seven years. So this means you are convicted of that second DWI within seven years of your first DWI, you are not eligible at all to drive legally in North Carolina. You can try a different state, but in this state, it's toast. So those are the two major factors that most people are concerned about when getting a second DWI. Punishments, which are possible jail time, possibility of losing your license, but no way to be able to drive with a limited privilege. So if you have more questions about getting a second DWI, how to defend a second DWI, we'll certainly have more videos on here you can watch or feel free to give us a call.